Across northern Kenya, communities have lived in close connection with the nature that surrounds them for generations. As seasonal rains become less predictable as a result of our planet's changing climate, it's these unique relationships that could shape the future of all who call this land home. Elephants have a, a, a big, big role they play in this ecosystem. They go inside the riverbed, they dig for water when it's dry, and other wildlife will come in and drink from there. Even people will go and drink from those wells. Current drought has really, really impacted wildlife and the way they move. We see elephant families splitting into smaller groups so that they can be able to survive. Over the years, I have seen seasons changing. You get few rains or completely miss at all uh, when it's a rainy season. Drought is being caused by so much different factors. Climate change has impacted all of us here. I think there are local factors that are not helping alleviate the pressure. Whenever there's a small amount of rain, whatever sprouts gets uh, uprooted by livestock. So when we finally get rains, there is no much to hold the soil. The barren earth can't absorb any rain that does fall, causing flash floods. Where these waters once gave life, they can now take it away. <laughs> Without the arrival of the rains, food is in short supply across northern Kenya. Many are being forced to search for something to eat in previously unexplored areas. So what elephants are doing is getting into people's uh, settlements that have better vegetation because they are protected. This is driving conflict because people will try to, to push these elephants out. They just need a perception change to understand that even this wildlife are quite desperate and they need food and they need water. My major roles are working with the communities uh, to look at the major livestock and uh, wildlife corridors so that um, people, livestock and wildlife can move. Together with the communities, we need to demarcate these corridors and eventually process those into law. These vital corridors are monitored by a network of local women, the Mama Tembos, who are chosen for this role by their communities. Their work is key to the conservation of elephants in the region while also providing the Mamatambos with an alternative livelihood. It is these close relationships between people and wildlife which can help to provide a more secure future in the face of our planet's changing climate. Livestock and wildlife will need to move as the pressures of populations increase and infrastructural developments come up. What makes me really proud is how they accept it. 
as a community and the ownership they take into it. This is our landscape, this is our wildlife. That really gives me hope.